X-Edit Community Guides. You requested, I've complied. Should I clean DLC? Should I clean mods? How? Has anything changed? Those are the questions. This is the answer. In general, cleaning DLC creates a better foundation to mod from. For some, cleaning DLC may not have a noticeable impact. Fixing deleted references does avoid situational crashes, and removing identical to master records undoes some incidental overrides that wipe out intended vanilla changes. If you are concerned or curious about anything to do with XEdit, the official documentation is provided to read at your pace. Unless you understand mod creation, you generally want to leave cleaning to the author. If mods are marked as dirty on apps or resources, ask the author if it's intentional, and if not, to see if they can update it. In rare cases, dirty edits are intentional, so read descriptions. With that said, authors come and go. If you decide to clean a mod, you can. Deleted references should always be undeleted, and identical to master records rarely cause issues when removed. These are the two main things that X-Edit Cleaning does. 99% of the time, cleaning a mod that is said to be dirty is okay to do so. Just read all that you can about the mod first. Such and such guide told me a mod is dirty. Such and such application says there are less records to be removed than X-Edit actually did. Whether you are using loot, a general resource, or a guide, you have to keep in mind that X-Edit is always improving. Almost everything, including loot, uses X-Edit to get its information. When there are discrepancies, generally, those resources are what need to be updated, not X-Edit. Regarding loot, messages and record counts may correlate between the two for a time, but as X-Edit improves, it removes additional records. The notes you receive from loot exist because someone has run X-Edit, possibly on a now outdated version, and copy and pasted the results to the loot master list. Loot does not scan files for this information. It's user entered. When it comes to cleaning, X-Edit knows what it's doing. The loot master list just needs to be updated. If you'd like to contribute to loot, you can report your results directly to those maintaining it. When X-Edit is updated, it will likely be able to detect and remove additional dirty edits than previously. If you clean the mod with X-Edit 3.0, cleaning that same mod with 4.0 may remove additional records. This includes mods cleaned by their authors who use older versions of X-Edit. Example, X-Edit 4.0 can remove ITMs regarding nav meshes that previous versions could not. This may resolve NPCs not being able to cross certain cell boundaries. Changes nothing to lose your mind about. X-Edit was not previously broken. Rather, it improved. Old mods were not cleaned improperly. They are just now cleaned better. Inform authors of your discoveries, as newer versions of X-Edit may make their mods more stable. If they don't have the time, you can do it for your own use, or leave it alone. You cannot clean multiple modules at the same time. The records you are trying to clean are records that override changes to vanilla values. It has always been explained that you can't load additional modules. Doing so can turn an identical to master record into an identical to master but conflict winner record, and the latter will not be cleaned from the module. And those are exactly the records you want to clean. Cleaning while having additional modules loaded makes the entire process pointless and a waste of time. As of late 2018, an automated process was created by the developer to take all of the guesswork out of cleaning. No module ever needs to be cleaned more than once now. Consider guides and sources, gamer poets or elsewhere, prior to this video's upload as outdated. Before cleaning, back up the official plugins. This will avoid having to re-download or re-verify anything in the future other than when the game is updated. Backup is most important to those concerned about bandwidth. Navigate to the game folder. Open data. Highlight and copy the DLC. Create a new folder anywhere that you like and paste the original files inside for safekeeping. That's it. Keep this backup folder for as long as you keep the game. If concerned, you can back up your mods as well. 
when using mods like Enderall or Tale of Two Wastelands and Sky Oblivion. You should only clean official DLC if their developers recommend it. I have reached out to these developers, and as they respond, I will post what to do in the pinned comment. Here we clean some DLC. Cleaning mods is the exact same process. You don't need to have or use a mod manager to clean your plugins. Navigate to the folder that you installed XEdit to. Duplicate the XEdit executable by copying and pasting it right where it is. Rename the copy for whichever game you are using, followed by the letters QAC, representing Quick Auto Clean. I'm doing this for Skyrim SE, so this is what I enter. All potential names are in the pinned comment for reference and are updated accordingly. Double click to launch the copy. When XEdit opens, look at the window caption. Be sure that XEdit informs you that you are in quick auto clean mode. If not, something was done wrong in the previous steps. Double click the first DLC plugin to be cleaned. In SSE's case, it's the update ESM. Allow a few minutes for the process to complete. When you receive the message, quick clean mode finished, close XEdit. The plugin is saved automatically. Repeat this process for the rest of the DLC. The only thing that you do not need to clean is the main module. All DLC for each game that can be cleaned are listed in the pin comment. Again, this process is the exact same if you choose to clean a mod that you've downloaded. To keep your game's data folder untouched and to not worry about game updates or file verification undoing DLC edits, right-click in Mod Organizer's left pane and select Create Empty Mod. Title it something along the lines of DLC Clean. Right-click this new empty mod and open in Explorer. In a second window, open the game's data folder. Copy and paste all of the DLC into the new mod in MO2. Close Explorer. Drag and place the clean DLC at the very top of the load order. This forces XEdit to clean the DLC here within MO2 while leaving your data folder copies in their vanilla state. Open the Modify Executables window. Create a new title, something along the lines of Quick Auto Clean. Select the ellipsis to the right of the binary. Navigate to the folder that you installed XEdit to. Double click the EXE. In the Arguments field, add the command dash quick auto clean. Select Add. Close the window. From now on, this will be your designated mod and DLC cleaning executable. You can use your original XEdit entry as normal. Select XEdit Auto Clean from the drop down and run it. When XEdit opens, look at the window caption. Be sure that XEdit informs you that you are in quick auto clean mode. If not, something was done wrong in the previous steps. Double click the first DLC plugin to be cleaned. In SSE's case, it's the update ESM. Allow a few minutes for the process to complete. When you receive the message, quick clean mode finished, close XEdit. The plugin is saved automatically. Repeat this process for the rest of the DLC. The only thing that you do not need to clean is the main module. All DLC for each game that can be cleaned are listed in the pin comment. Again, this process is the exact same if you choose to clean a mod that you've downloaded. If the game is updated and you wish to reclean the DLC, as game updates may change what records the DLC contain, you have to delete the clean mod folder in MO2's left pane and repeat the process from the beginning as if you never did it before. Don't forget to create new backups of the ESMs as well. When XEdit receives official updates, as mentioned earlier, it may be able to detect more issues than previously, thus being able to remove more dirty edits than before. This means that on new playthroughs, you may want to return your plugins to their vanilla state and do the cleaning process again from the beginning, same as if the game itself has been updated. A special thank you to our poet lords, Watch Hill and Trotsky for their charitable contributions and support. Thank you to those of you keeping Gamer Poets a reality. I am Michael of Gamer Poets, and I hope to see you next time.